All righty. Uh, our, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, we are here. How you guys doing? Hi, Zal. Hello, Jan Gamer. How you guys doing, both of you? All righty. Let me just fix up my thing. There we go. And then let me just do that real quick. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. So today's going to be a little different. Uh, we will go on to Dragon Ball Legends, but it won't be immediate. And the reason for it is quite simple. Uh, to talk about farming CC effectively, we need to actually write it all down. We need to see what's going on when we're doing that. So I'm going to bring out a Google Doc, actually. Let me just go and grab my Google Drive. I'm going to put it onto the left side first. And then I'll bring it out on the right when it's uh, set up. Uh, let's go Google Doc. And there we go. Let me just pull that over here. And we will title it Places to Farm Chrono Crystals. We're not just going to talk about where to farm Chrono Crystals because a lot of people already know where to farm Chrono Crystals. But also efficiently. Because I think efficiency is where a lot of people lack where people struggle. And what we're also going to do is we're going to make sure that this is at like at least 150%. So that way when you guys, uh, when you see me type, you can actually see what I'm actually typing. So that's, I think, also important. So I don't know if you guys can read that, but, but let me just actually copy paste this. Places to, yes, places to form chrono crystals efficiently. And this will be kind of like a guide. Uh, just because it will be it will be nice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to underline it and we're just gonna bold it. There we go. I'm fantastic, OP Mama. How you doing? Also, hey Sanic, how you doing? I see you there with the Kappa face. I am fantastic, Jan Gamer. So we're gonna go over uh, how to farm CC efficiently, and we're also gonna break it down and see how much CC you get from specific things. So. I think the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to uh, farming anything, adventures. Adventures, adventures, adventures. Uh, we get a total of four adventures, four different types of adventures per month. Now, what does that look like? That looks like 200 CC per adventure, which equates to 800 cc total okay 800 cc total so if you're skipping your adventures and you're not doing them efficiently you're missing out on 800 uh, chrono crystals monthly per month you're missing out on 800 per month and that stacks all right so that means in two months you're earning 1600 chrono crystals now that's not necessarily a lot but that's nothing to scoff at considering all right yeah no problem hey hey Fim. Listen, I'm also going to make a YouTube video to condense this because uh, as much as this is great live, it's also good to have like a quick uh, tutorial guide. So I will make a YouTube video on this. It might not happen today, but I really wanted to do this for you because you did ask and I want to honor that. I didn't know when I was going to do this, but now we're doing this. So let, let's let's go over it. And I will be using my game as a guide uh, just because sometimes you can't remember of every single place that, you know, you can farm adventures. I mean, you could farm Chrono Crystals. So. Here it is. If you guys don't know, I'm loading it up right now. Uh, random question. Who do you think is better, Zenkai721 or LF Kid Boo? Good question. Uh, right now, it's too hard to tell. But in the current Metascape, at least for the time being, 21 is better because we know what she does for the team. LF Kid Boo is still too new to make any rash judgments. Another thing, we're. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out whether the meta is strike-oriented or blast-oriented. Right now, it's mixed, which gives 21 a little bit of an edge at the current moment. If the meta changes to more strike-based, you can bet your tiny little tushies that Kid Boo is going to be paired up with Majin Boo for the triple strike arts lock, and you will probably see also Zankai, Demon King Piccolo, or the LF Piccolo to counter in case your opponent is running the double Majin Terror for the Strike Arts lock. 
So right now, I think we should edge it out to 21, but who knows? So the fact that Kid Buu now exists as an extra added bonus to Ma- Majin Buu Zenkai 7 is scary. Just that, that's, that's what I want to point out. All right, so let's go over some more. So Adventures X4 monthly, 200 CC per adventure, 800 CC total. All right, next up, let's go to USTR or alternatively known as Ultra Space Time Rush. All right, and this is done X2 monthly. All right, okay. And the reason why, let me think. Is it X2 monthly? Yes. It, it, no, is it per season? Nah, it's X2 monthly. Yes. It's, so it's a total of 500 CC if you're doing it all, meaning you complete every single mission. You want to make sure that every mission is done uh, per completion. And that would equal a total of 1,000 CC total. Okay? Perfect. So right now, per month, if you're doing your farming of your CC correctly, you're getting a total of 1,800 Chrono Crystals per month. That's already pretty good, considering the fact that it really feels like you're getting nothing, generally speaking. But I digress. You just got to keep in mind that you're actually dealing with a lot more. Every season? I don't think so, Sanic. No, no, it's not every season. It's every other season. And the reason why I know this is because I always have to save my, um, my, that Ultra Space Time Rush for every second guild battle. I can't use it every, if I could use it every guild battle, I would have. No, it's 14 days. It's not every season. Unless everyone wants to tell me that I'm wrong. Love it when I finish a rush, then I realize I forgot one challenge and I have to do the whole thing again. Yeah, so what you can do, actually, fun fact, guys. If you go to your Ultra Space Time Rush, and you are like, I'm worried about something, what you can do is, let okay, let, let me reattempt, actually, just number one, all right? So I'm going to reattempt number one, and you guys can't see it, but if you were to reattempt and you click on Auto Select, it will auto select all the prerequisite requirements for you to complete the event completely. All right. So that means if you always auto select your characters, you will never ever mess up. Which means that you'll never mess up the ultra space time rush, which is huge. All right, let's move on because I don't want to go any further into this. I want to like keep going and actually get cover some more things, all right? So let's go on to uh, general, like, events, all right? So these ones are a little bit infrequent. So we're going to put it as infrequent or, um, or crammed or crammed. When I say crammed, it means that they bring out tons of events in, like, one time, or they bring almost no events. And these can range anywhere between X500 CC to, like, 1,000 CC per event. Hello, Azza. How you doing? All right. So, for example, one event that we've, we've had uh, is the cell. So, let, let's talk about the cell. Cell evolving life form. Okay? He drops a total of 1,000 Chrono Crystals. So, for this month alone... Not including anything else. Now you could have earned 2,800 CC. Okay? That's huge. That's actually big. So just keep that in mind. I just want to make that very clear. All right? Now let's move on, because I want to keep on going. There's a lot of things to cover. I'm fantastic, Azza. Thank you so much for asking. All right, let me just take a bite of something. So for these, for this, what I'm going to cover, I'm not going to cover anything that is just mainstay. 
So that means I won't be going over story only because if you aren't doing story. So I, I think one of the prerequisites that I need to say is, uh, so it's a, it's a note. Let's make a note. If you haven't completed story or the Zankai events for Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta, you're missing out on Chrono Crystals that you could farm. But we're not going to really cover that too much because I don't want to count this towards your monthly income of your CC. Okay? So we're, I don't want you to guys to use this as uh, your monthly. This is your lifetime. So this is a lifetime CC earning. And personally speaking, it's one of those things that I would say, you know, don't rely on it forever. All right, but let me, I'm just going to keep on going down this way. And I do play other mobile games, but I do not play uh, Call of Duty. Always do the challenges too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Jan Gamer. You got it. You got it. And, but that's why I don't want to, I don't want to put this within my, our regular, just because this is not uh, fair to use as an assessment. I mean, it can, you could technically, if you just kept it by, by month, whenever it was released, apply it to that month, sure. But I don't want to because it's been around for a while now and I just feel like that would just be unfair. So let's, let's go over some other things. So if, let's say, you're one of those people that don't care, don't care at all about powering up the stars of your units and you're really just interested in pulling. So uh, this one is for co-op co-op i can't spell apparently you can get a total for co-op specifically uh it's a total of 450 chrono crystals i believe or maybe no it's 300 chrono crystals my bad my bad it's 300 cc total um not really worth it but you can do it if you don't care about pvp that's what I would say from for for this one specifically. For co-op specifically, if you don't care about PvP, then in that case, grabbing the CC is totally fine. So Sensei, we're gonna go over how much we can get this update. I'm not done. So I I just I just wanted to like, you know, go over this. And Jan Gamer, let me just double check. I do believe it's 300, because it's 1500 per 100 CC. And you can only do it, I think, three times. So let me just double check. Because I have the game open. I'll just double check it right now and we will, you know, make sure. Yeah, so it's 300 CC. No, this is correct. This is absolutely correct. It's not 400, it's 300. All right. <clears throat> All right, but let, let's move on to uh, something that I actually want to... 4,000 what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, are you guys talking about total uh, for this update? No, no, we haven't gotten there yet. I'm right now just talking about co-op. All right, so let, let's actually go over soul boosting. Okay? So soul boosting is a little bit difficult. It's a little tricky. And the reason for it is that you're looking at per 100 um, panels unlocked, 10 CC. But, but once you reach 100K, it's every 200 panels 10 cc so let's let's uh bold that and let's underline here so 
So basically what this looks like, and I, I think I'm going to actually bring up my game onto the screen for this specific moment. And the reason for it is just so I can show you guys. Just so I can show you what I'm talking about, about the soul boosting. And then we'll go back. All right, so we're, we're here right now. Uh, let's go to missions. And let's go to Z mission. All right. So here's my unlock, unlock panels. I have unlocked at this point almost 144,600 boost panels. And if I do that, I will get my next 10 CC. However, then I'll have to do another 200 panels unlocked before I can get my next one. So they really stiffen how much CC you can get, you can claim, the higher you go. So there you go. I am now going to close that. That's all I wanted to show. And then we can now go back to the uh, making of our little document so we can get an idea of how much CC you get, you can get. But again, soul boosting is a lifetime thing. Soul boosting equals lifetime. So do this when running low on CC. And we'll just bold that. I'm fantastic, Lewis. How you doing? And also, am I going to summon or I already summoned? I... The title of my stream, my dude, is, is about farming CC effectively or efficiently. There ain't no summoning in, far in CC farming. <coughs> All right. But let's actually go over some of the stuff that we can get this month alone. So, we know that the Vegeta raid is coming out. Vegeta raid is coming out. Okay? And that's going to equal 1,000 CC for this month. Do it. When it comes out. That's going to be huge. If you don't do this when it comes out, you're going to miss out on it like last time. If there were people that went to bed when it came out the last time we did it, you missed out. It was on, uh, I believe it was when I, we were using Rage Trunks against, I don't remember what unit. I think it was um, Android 17. I believe that was the unit we were fighting. And that entire event died within 10 hours. So do this event the moment it comes out and if you guys want to know when it comes out let me just go on the news right now i'll tell you when it comes out so release so let me just uh go to uh tab tab release date is let's take a look i, I i'll find the release date tonight tonight at one, one a.m. EST. So if you guys don't know what one a.m. EST, I'm in Canada. So that means that for me, it's just literally one minute after like twelve fifty nine, right? Or twenty three fifty nine. No, twenty four. My brain is fried. I I I I literally have not slept. So zero fifty nine. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, so make sure that you set an alarm. I'm not kidding you, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the developers are going to like handle this this time around. But it was farmed so intensely that you literally couldn't do it if you didn't do it the night of. And some other reasons why you want to do this pretty much immediately isn't even just for the CC. You get Z-Power. Uh, for for both SP and EX units, you get 
what else? Um, my brain is slot, slot, uh, slot, slot removers. That's huge. Uh, what else do you get? You also get, um, those, um, exchange shop coins for slots, slot removers, or erasers, you know, whatever you like to call it. And then also those coins. Uh, oh, no, and or for energy. For slot removers or energy or even tickets. It's huge. It's huge. Because if you get those coins, you can get more energy. So if you farm this event, you can grab coins, Lewis, to grab energy. Because there, there are specific coins that they drop, and you can exchange those coins for energy. That's huge. All right. So right now, based upon everything we've covered, you can earn a total of 3,800 CC this month alone. And this is just for, for February. So let, let's just cover February, just in general, instead of just covering, like, just overall. All right, next thing we want to do. Yeah, I'm not covering gold bells and silver bells. I mean, that's, that's nice and all, but it's not actually relevant um, in terms of what we're talking about. So that's why I didn't want to discuss it, since it doesn't actually help with farming chrono crystals. That's why. So, Zal, um, what you want to do is you want to save those erasers for equipments whose starting position is a red or yellow, and then the two other slots, you keep on changing them until they're red or yellow. That is what you want to do. Uh, so slot removers are worth it, but they're only worth it once you get the hang of the game and you are, you've built yourself a solid team that you want to improve. Uh, Lewis, I will factor in PvP rewards. However, I'll only do it under the assumption that it's the last thing we talk about. It's not going to be the first thing we talk about. I don't want to factor in PvP rewards at the beginning because I want to show how much we can get just through PvE alone. No PvP for now. I know for PvP you can get 2,000 CC per month. I know that, but I don't want to talk about that yet. I don't want to talk about that. But wait, what we can talk about is the 300 CC that you can get from PvP. Like, just as missions per season. That we can talk about. All right, but what I want to talk about before that, even before that, mission plans. Mission plans. All right, and the reason for it is if you are doing the battle lovers plan, X 500 CC per season. So that's a total of X2 monthly. Meaning, per month, 1,000 CC total. All right, so that means we have, what, 28, uh, we have 28... Uh, 38, 48, 4,800 CC so far. It, it's, it's exactly 500, actually. It's 500 CC per month, uh, per week, uh, per two weeks, which means that it's a total of 1,000 CC per month. So if you're not doing the Battle Lovers plan, do that one. Just do that one. Because then in that case, you will be rewarded with more Chrono Crystals than if you don't do that one. So let's actually go over to PvP, but we're not doing top 10k, we're doing PvP missions. Just missions. Which you get per season, 300cc. And monthly, that's X2. Right? So... If it's X2 monthly, it means you get a total of 600 CC. So 
So when people ask me, how do you have so much CC? I don't spend a lot of this CC. I let it actually stack up. So when you see me in two months, all of a sudden, yeah, my CC has blown up. And the reason for it is because I take this CC and I don't use it. I save it for teams or for things I need, not for shiny new things that I think I want. That's why. Then, let's actually go over dailies. Because I think dailies are also important. Right? Dailies. Dailies are huge. We love dailies. Dailies are literally why we play this game in some capacity. Even if we don't play it for anything more than just dailies. It's 35 CC a day. Right? And the month of February has how many days in, in the 28 days? So all we got to do is we got to uh, multiply 35 times 28, and that's how much CC we get in total. So uh, for that total, that is, let's see, that's uh, 0, 8, okay, so 8, 4, and then we have, I uh, just want to get this down. So give me a moment, guys. I'm just using, like, I'm using, like, quick maths here. Uh, then it's, uh, zero, then we got, uh, do, 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 my brain is fried. Nope, that's wrong. Uh, there we go. And then it is four. So then we're looking at a total of 720 cc monthly for this month specifically. So February actually um, negs us a little bit, but other months, we can see an increase. Oh, is it 980? Is it 980? Did I mess up? It's possible I messed up, but even so, it's still a neg. Regardless, because normally we'd get about, like, then in that case, 1,000 CC in a month. Um, Emily, could you, can you do like 25 times, uh, no, 28 times 35, just to double check my math. Cause I think I, I did my math wrong. I, I think 980. Yeah. So I did my math wrong. So, so yeah, my math is completely wrong. It's 980. So that means, that means on any, not auntie, on any other month, we gain. A thousand plus CC. Yeah, so it's 980. Yeah, so Zal, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of rewardable CC per month. And a lot of people always assume when they see lots of CC, they think whale. And I'm just like... If that's what your conclusion is, it means that you're not paying attention to how much the game actually drops for you. And it just says a lot about people being unaware. I'm not saying the game's perfect, though. There's a lot of mistakes, but I'm trying to, like, talk about just some of the things that the game does well, despite a lot of the things that it does horribly. Because we are talking about farming CC, right? And I, I want give it, to give it the due credit that it deserves in some aspects. Uh, we're talking about this month, 7C, 35 times 28. We're talking about this month, not, not like times 30, right? We're not considering 30, uh, 30 days. We're considering 28 in February. That, that's, why we're, that's why it's 980 this month. So let me just delete this because this was, that was some shenanigan fool, fully, full. Full, blah, blah, something. I, I, it was something. <laughs> yeah, it, it really. Hello, Daniel. How you doing? We're right now going over all of our CC for this month of February that is farmable as a casual player. So that way you don't have to like necessarily play like super, super hardcore. All right, so let's let's go over, and then we're gonna do a tally score as well. 
at the end so that way you guys can see like how much you're getting per month because it's kind of like um and don't worry 7c i know what you were trying to do i get it uh, it's just for february it's 980 and i know you know that now it's don't worry about it we all make uh, we all make mistakes i mean i made a mistake i thought it was like 720 we got so pff, it's okay quick math's not not for me clearly <laughs> But yeah, let's uh let's go over cuz uh we got da dailies. Daily logins were beautiful. All right. So uh the next thing that we need to go over is co-op missions. And why are these important? Cuz co-op missions also drop a certain amount of CC. Now it won't show me. I can't see how much CC. Can someone tell me on their game how much uh co how much CC does the co-op missions drop? Because it says completed, so I can't see it. But I'm gonna have to assume per month it's about like 200, 200 CC or two hundred eighty CC. I I don't know. Or is it three hundred? I'm gonna say two hundred for now. I'll lowball it. Samuel. If you're not getting your uh, CC from daily logins, then you're not doing your dailies. You got to do your dailies. Your dailies have the 35 CC you're looking for. Right here. If you're doing your dailies, you're getting 35 Chrono Crystals per day. You, you do get it. it it's non-negotiable. Everyone that plays this game that is doing the, all of their dailies will get 35 CC a day. But let's just assume that co-op missions, so not co-op itself, but when you're completing co-op and you're doing co-op missions, you're getting 200 CC. If someone can correct me and see if it's 300 or 250 or 280, let me know. Let me know. But for now, I'm going to assume it's 200 Chrono Crystals per co-op, like per uh, co-op uh, seasons. And co-op usually is only about like uh, X2 monthly. It's no more than this. They, they don't really give us more than two a month. Uh, just because sometimes it lasts like 17 days or like 18 days, sometimes almost 20 days. So, you know, it, it's kind of like, it's iffy. I, I won't even like put it as it's definitely X2 monthly. It's more like it's kind of X2 monthly. But assuming that, then you're getting about 400 CC. You're getting 400 CC total. I think this is important. This is super important because that also is helpful for you guys. No, 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 not, not the, no, you're not buying CC. We already talked about co-op CC if purchase, if purchasing. This is different. This is not the same. If purchasing. We're talking about something else, Jan Gamer. No, 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 no. All right, let me, let me pull it up, guys. Let me pull it up because you guys clearly don't understand what I'm talking about. Let me, let me pull it up onto the screen for you guys so you understand what I'm referring to. I'm talking about co-op missions. I'm not talking about co-op exchange shop. So, let me just put in brackets. This is not the exchange shop. This is not the exchange shop. Hello, uh, chillin'. How you doing? This is not the exchange shop. I was talking about specifically not the exchange shop. You got 300 CC on co-op per month. Is that, is that correct, Jan Gamer? Would you say, like, again, see the squiggly? I, I, I don't say it's per month. I say it's like almost, it's kind of like two months or one month and it's like 10 days. Or, no, it's less than a month, but 10 days exclusive. And the reason for it, guys, and the reason why I say it like this, is because it's never monthly. It's just, like, cusping a month. Right? So, it, wait, so it's 300 cc. If it's 300 cc, then it's roughly 600 cc a month. So what we'll do... What we'll do, because I don't want to, I don't want to say that we're getting exactly 600 CC total. I'm going to put this total as a squiggly, which means that when we factor this in, I'm only going to add in 300. But if you want to, you could add it as a total of 600. 
so we'll lowball it. But I want to give you guys like the full numbers as best as I can. All right. So just let's keep that in mind when we're doing that. All righty. So let, let, let's see what else we got, because I know that there are more things that we can cover. So uh, just give me a moment as I look for anything else. Ah, yes. Actually, let's not cover Legends Road, and I'll tell you why. Actually, no, let's not cover Legends Road. We're not going to cover Legends Road. I think that's... Let's actually go over Monthly Mission. Let's go over Monthly Mission. Monthly Mission, you can get 300 CC per month. 300 CC total per month. If you do everything on here, you get 300 CC. Just boom, right there. Right? So, I, I think this is, I think that's, uh, bro, daily login. I, I already did that. I already did daily login. Dailies, right here. Right here. And also for story, I already said note right here, so we'll, we'll bold it. But this is this is irrelevant to what we're talking about here. Yeah, it's why I'm gonna skip a Legends Road. All right. So let's look at the overall total. We have adventures. which is 800 cc. We have USTR, which is 1,000 cc. We have, let's say, events. And let's just assume for events, we're only talking about the cell event. So for this one, we're going to talk about cell, which is... A thousand CC. If you log in, you can take 10 CC extra. Yes. Oh, you mean that? Okay, okay. I get what you're saying. Okay, now I understand. So then let, let's, yeah, sure, let's do logins. Logins, uh, which is 10, C, 10 CC per day. So in this case, it would be 280 CC. So we'll, we'll, we'll cover that. We'll cover that. That's fine. All right, I, I get what you're saying. Sorry about that. I did not fully understand. Now I get it. We will not cover co-op if total purchasing. I don't really care about that as much. Um, let's talk about the Vegeta raid because that will be coming out. And I think that's fair to use. It's coming out literally like when? Like tonight. Yeah, it's coming out tonight. So we're allowed to use that. Um, let's see. The battle lovers plan. So mission plans. For a total of a thousand CC. So let let's uh. I should have kept it consistent in terms of like bullet points or equals, but whatever, it's fine. You guys understand what I'm doing. Uh, PVP missions. So let's let's cover PVP missions, which is a total of uh, I think 600 CC. But let me double check. Yep, 600 CC. Dailies. So. Dailies for this season is 280. Uh, not 280. What am I talking about? 980. 980 CC. And we got uh, login, which is 280 this month. So we're not done, obviously, for dailies. And then for co-op missions, we got, let's say, 300 for, for a month. All right, I've gotten all the EXA into Z7, but I'm definitely missing some emissions. Yeah, 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 that's fair. So this is dailies. This is login. Uh, so yeah, so that basically means for the raid itself specifically, guys, I want you guys, like I said, 
Do it when it comes out. Release date is tonight for me at 1 a.m. EST. Whoops. Uh, let me just control Z that. So let me just bold that. And let me make this one bigger. Font size for this, let's make it 30. Release date tonight at 1 a.m. EST. Boom. Do it. Just do it, okay? It, it, this this is super important. Don't don't miss out. Don't miss out. But let's say that this is all for now. Let's tally this all up. Let's take this all and see how much CC for for what's the total that we're looking at. I'm just gonna do that real quick. So we're looking at 4,048, 54, uh, 57, uh, let's see, 5980, so let's, let's 5980, and then you got 980, and then I gotta do some quick maths, I don't wanna do quick maths, someone do the math for me. Yo, Mike, <laughs> Mikey, how you doing? I see you there, I see you, how you doing? That's fair, Zal, that's fair. I agree, Daniel, I would love if they had way more HP. Can you do 5980 uh, plus uh, 980? Because I don't, I don't want to do the math. 80 plus 980. Is that it? 6,960, you said. So. Per month. This month alone. Not including the rising Majin, like, boo that's coming out, literally also tonight. And also, uh, the fact that we could, you could also do PvP and get top 10k or even top 20 or top 15 and get some more. I'm fantastic, Mikey, I'm fantastic. My brother said he loves your vids and streams, same. Yo, thank you, Jan, I appreciate that. I really do, I'm, I'm, you know, I enjoy what I'm doing, which is something that I, I, I couldn't say for a long time. So I'm blessed that you guys are letting me do this and also that Emily's letting me do this. So cheers to you, Emily. Which, uh, you know, I'm just gonna... Gonna... All right, this is good. Perfect. Nice. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'm kidding. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let this be uh one regular size. <laughs> uh, I'm such a I'm such a weird person. All right. Either way, right now we we get almost seven thousand chrono crystals this month alone, and this is. Honestly, one of our worst months. I agree, Shu. Honestly, it should be an event that you don't kill off. With how they've built it, it might as well just be infinite health and you're just doing damage. I agree 100% what you're saying. Shu, that's a fantastic idea. In fact, that's a very, very good idea. And I, think, I wish that they would implement that. But it's okay. Um, we, we can always you know, rant about that on a YouTube video. Hope you get a lot more fans, man. You are good at this. Thank you, Daniel. I, I appreciate that. But yeah, and then, okay. So let's cover some PvP uh, top 20k plus blah, blah, blah. So this is for the people that want to be competitive or at least be ladder competitive. So when I say ladder competitive, and I'm not going to go too much into this, ladder competitive. Meaning good at best of ones and uh, the ultimate wizards of the lag of the lag. There we go. And I'm not saying that you're cheating. What I'm saying is that you're willing to deal with the with the, the garbage. That is ladder. 
<laughs> now, if you do this, if you do this, the way is done. If you're doing it the way that this is done, okay? Let's take a look what you can get at top 20k in terms of PvP, all right? Because the PvP is uh, something that, you know, a lot of people like to do. So if you're 20k, 20k to about like 15k, and I say roughly because it's actually like 1501, you get about a total of, uh, oops, not the plus, you get the 200 uh, la CC. If you do the 15k to the, uh, like, 10, roughly, but it's not actually 10, it's like 1001, you get 500. You get the 500 cesse. But then if you get top 10k, so top 10k, you get yourself an 1000 cc, all of a sudden you're looking pretty spicy. Okay? And then it doesn't actually change unless you're number one. Winner of competitive lag equals 1500 cc to get 500 extra good job you get bragging rights this this is called bragging rights bragging rights uh you know what we'll just give it a little comma we're not even going to add the uh the g there bragging rights there we go and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll bold that uh it might give us cc daniel it might it will provide somewhere it should it should provide at least between 500 to 1000 cc that's what they usually do with Rising Battles. They usually give out CC as well. But I'm not going to cover that because I haven't seen any confirmation for Chrono Crystals. It should, but we're just going to lowball it. We're lowballing this because we want to make sure that we're not giving false information. As best as possible, no false information. Top 20k or 10k every time is pretty hard to do. A uh, shoe, I wouldn't say it's hard to do. It just means that you have to be willing to commit. And uh you know it depends if you have a life or not it also depends on what are your commitments in your life right if what you prioritize isn't this game then yes that is hard to do because you're not prioritizing this game if you're someone that prioritizes this game then it's not hard to do because let's be real all you got to do is grind i can tell you for a fact because i'm a casual top 10k player um what that basically means is that i do it when i feel like it just to prove a point. Not that I need to prove one, but, but just because I can. All right? So that, that's, that's what we're looking at. And this is per X2 monthly. Meaning, if you just hit top 10K, which is the sweet spot, you're earning a total of 2,000 CC monthly. And if you, were add that, if you were to add that on to the amount of CC that you would earn this month alone, then in that case, all of a sudden, you're not earning 6960. No, no, no. You're earning 8960 CC total. This month. I'm ranked 46 right now, and it's kind of hard to find some matches. That's fair, Lewis. I get that. I'm alive as grind time, boys. <laughs> All right. But you see, that, that's what I'm saying, right? Lag wizards. Listen. Listen. This is, this is one of those things, right? So look at this. When people ask me, and, and I got to write this out, and I, I got to be a little bit of a memer, okay? So uh, let, me just, let me just caps this just real quick. So... We we get we get the we get the feeling. Oh wait, no, no, let me also spell it wrong. You're such a whale, bro. Look at all that CC you buy in. Let me let me let me buy in. There we go. And let me quotation mark this, because this is paraphrasing. This is almost exactly what I got on one of my videos as a comment. Th this was hilarious to me. 
And I was, and my response to this person was this. This was my response. And I'm going to paraphrase this. You're just bad at managing your chrono crystals. Uh wait, wait, wait. So Jan Gamer. Yeah, I, I can cover that for you. So let me let me just go over. Um like let me just go over that. So let me just uh I, I can I can show you how you check your top. I, I'll show you right now. Okay? So there's two ways to check where you are in PvP ladder. So just give me a moment. Let let uh the let my screen share work. It's right now just not loading up. If I could show it to you, I would. <laughs> you know, if I could just load it up, I'd show you. But I, it's right now just not loading, which is annoying because I want it to load so that way you can see it. But I if I can't load it, I can't show it. You know, uh, Windows update, blah blah blah. But there's two ways to check. Yeah, it's just not loading up. I, I can't load it up right now. For some reason, my, my screen won't do it. Uh, what's this? Windows update. Your device will restart outside of active hours. Cool, cool, cool. Don't care then. All right. Yo, TR <laughs> musicals. Absolutely. Absolutely. So have I ever ch touched this shop? Yes, I have. I have. I have spent money on this game. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I haven't. But we, I have two accounts, so I have my main account. So actually, let's let's go over down here. So for people that are interested, I have two accounts. Two accounts. Main account for teaching purposes slash my enjoyment. Alt account. Uh. Completely free to play and just as competitive. So these are my two different ones. I have my alt account and I have my main account. Spent money. in a reasonable fashion. Like that. And then this one, zero money spent because free to play. Yo, Pigeon, hello. <laughs> so th there you go. These are the two accounts that I, that I have. So yes, I have touched shop uh, just to give you guys some things. Uh, no, that's not dumb, Pigeon. Just make sure that you're slowly doing them because it's actually important to get them started because you never know at some point Dragon Ball Legends might decide to just take them away. I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying that it, it's, they have done something that they, it's something they have done in the past and they can do it again. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to say just be cautious when you do stuff like that. Uh, the pain you feel when you see that you're already in top 10k and when it's over and you check the next day it gives you 500 cc it hurts I know Shu. I get that if you summoning one uh on the 1k day banners if it ends up being kid Goku and transforming DKP uh Halo I'm gonna be quite honest with you probably not probably not and the reason for it is I don't want I don't main Dragon Ball Saga teams and that's enough said and I also don't main regen and even though I do main Saiyans in a sense, I main actually Sun Family and Female Warriors, meaning that type of banner is more or less bait and less actually worth it to me. Now, I'll have to double, see the, double check the entire banner. I Again, like, never say never. I'm just saying, just off of, like, if it were that, no, I wouldn't be summoning. Uh, business, spending energy on the free-to-play Zankai Grindfest, yes. Yeah. All right, so... When you can earn this much on a bad month, 
this. Wait, let me just let me just let me just space this out and give it a give it a little bit of um. This month is bad, is a bad month for the game. Honestly, it, it, the anniversaries are, anniversary banners are also kind of bait. I think the only things that are not bait at this point are Zankai's. But look at this. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. And let me actually, um, align this. Let me just actually do this to make it a little bit more legible in terms of like what we're covering. And let me just do that. Let me just fix this up. Let me make it a little bit tidier, you know? So that way you guys have something tidy to look at. And this is if you were to just do this, skipping anything else. Imagine how much you would earn during hype months like June or December. That would easily be like 13,000. Exactly, Lewis. Or at least we're looking at like, let's say on a good month, we're looking at almost maybe 10,000 versus 6,000, almost 7,000 actually. And then if you were to include this factor, you have 8, almost 9,000 on a bad month, assuming you're doing top 10K. So, my, my, my big advice to you guys, advice, my advice to you guys, okay? Because I know a lot of people need advice, and I get that. I've been there too. And I'm not saying that you're bad for needing advice. It just means that, you know, you just need it and that's okay. And let me actually increase the size to 15 here. Advice. Don't spend CC on every banner you see unless you're a collector and nothing more. Now, this, this advice is for free-to-play players. Big, big, big tip. This is for free-to-play players. This is not for anyone that's a whale, casual dolphin, a spender of any sorts. If you're a spender, then this does not apply to you. It just doesn't, because you have money, and you have money that you're willing to put into the game. So in that case, all you have to think about is, like, are you willing to invest in this game in any shape, way, or form, or are you not interested in supporting the developers. It's, it's that simple, right? Spend CC on Android 18. Do you think I would have been better off saving it for the celebration? Well, Sheldon, do you, do you main androids or um, female warriors? If the answer is yes, then she was a fantastic unit to grab and definitely worth it, maybe even better than uh, waiting for the celebration. If you don't main androids or female warriors, then yeah, you probably made a mistake. So it, it, it really, really depends, Sheldon, on what is your main team. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. Don't spend CC on every banner unless you're a collector and nothing more. Uh, pick one to two teams maximum if free to play. This will cut costs on your CC consumption.
yes, this is if you're competitive. Do that, and then let me just bold it. Uh, and also, Pigeon, uh, Future does have a good Zankai. They have Zankai 7 Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. That's a phenomenal Zankai unit. Future is literally the best. Uh, one of the best teams right now in the meta. Not the best, sorry. It's one of the best teams in the meta. It honestly is in the top five best teams in the game. And, fun fact, it is the most free-to-play team in the entire game. Uh, Master Pack Z is only good if you are aiming to Zankai um, a big set of units, so I would say it's probably not a good idea. Personally speaking, a lot of those units that are in the Z pack are not that good, and then the ones that are good, they tend to show up in other banners. So it's just not worth it. A yellow Zenkai? Honestly, that Gohan. If you haven't, Pigeon, if you haven't checked out my top 10 yellow video list uh, that I released literally today, like early in the morning, go check it out. Gohan is on that list. He is in the top 10 best yellow units in the game. And we're talking about a three star LF Gohan. Three star. So just keep that in mind. Three star, six star, blah, blah, blah. Yap Young says, bro, like, say, if you want the boost units for PvP, you're going to need to spend CC. But you don't need boost units for PvP. Boost units in PvP, they only boost, like, reward drops. They don't boost your damage. They don't boost anything else. So it's not very important. Uh, God Key is not as good as Future right now. And the only reason why that is the case is because they don't have a... I would say, a strong full color wheel. That is their biggest dilemma, especially for God Key. They have, like, very good substitute units, and they also have a very good solid trio. It's just that God Key right now struggles a little bit in regards of a full color wheel that is very, very heavily dominant. Yep, you're right, Lewis. Exactly. That's correct. Yeah, Shu, you're right. Uh, LF Gohan, uh, the red one, is amazing. Yes. It just sucks that God Vegeta isn't great on future. Well, yeah, because he doesn't buff them. He doesn't even get buffed by any of them, unless some of them buff, like, uh, um, God Key, or if they buff Saiyans in general. So otherwise, he won't get buffed. Uh, God Key is S-tier, yes. God Key would definitely be an S-tier team. They're just on the lower end. And we could always do uh, we could always do team compositions and what would uh like a tier list look like, but we're not gonna do that today. If we're gonna do that, I'm gonna save that for Monday. If you guys want, we could do a tier list on Monday. Uh, Dinos five six seven Shahid, are you talking about Zankai Super Saiyan two Gohan or just regular Super Saiyan two Gohan? Because Super Saiyan two Gohan without his Zankai is garbage. It's once he has Zenkai 7 and he's fully soul boosted that he's not garbage. That's when he's the best unit in the game. Is my team good? UI, Goku, Champa, Broly. Uh, which Broly? Red, Jiren, Vegito Blue, and Revival Cell. Is that good or should I change it? So Yap Young. Um, which Broly are you referring to? The blue one? The LF? Because if you're putting all of those units on your team, you have a problem of synergy. You have a problem with synergy, and that 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 would mean that you need to stick to tags. But anyways, yeah, Future didn't even need a Zenkai ammo. I was lucky enough to get my Vegito Blue to 7, so I didn't bother to Zenkai Trunks. That's fair, Sheldon. Uh, yeah, and that's true, actually. Sheldon's right. They technically didn't need a Zenkai, but the Zenkai has propelled them higher than before. In fact, actually, it's because of their Zankai that Future uh, got buffed enough to keep up with the meta to the point where they're now almost at the pinnacle of the meta. 
which is amazing. But yeah, actually, let's let's go over. So advice for free to play players: don't spend CC. Yeah, pick if you're competitive. If you're competitive, then in that case, pick to one two teams maximum. Uh, for non competitive, figure. Oh, actually, well, no, not for non competitive. Uh, next tip of advice that I actually want to give that I think is actually important that we give. If uh, semi competitive or competitive, make sure that the teams that you pick share some tags with each other. This will further reduce the cost of chrono crystal consumption. So I'll give you an example of this. So for example, if you play androids, think about regeneration. Or female warriors. Do I think UI Goku is good or bad? He's good. He's a good unit. In a in, in a vacuum, he's good. In PvP, he's good. He's just not as amazing as some other units. That's all. But right now, he's a very solid unit. Even at three stars, he's insanely solid. He just cannot take a hit. That's all. But don't discredit. Let's not discredit him. He's still a good unit. He's just not necessarily busted. One important tip should be that everyone should expect to get shafted on banner sometimes. That's the nature of gotcha games. You can't do anything about it. Yes, um, that's true. Uh, so yeah, here's another here's another tip. This is a gambling game. This means that you have. More to lose than to win. If you get lucky, quit while you're ahead. If you get shafted, make sure to not spend more. That's huge. All right, say, take a later, uh, see you later, Jan Gamer. Have a great day, okay? Stay safe. All right, seen free to play Buon stats, and boy, they are good. Yep, yeah, they are. You're right, Trippy. Yep, she was right. Go for Zankai's instead of uh, banners if you're going for PvP, as long as you already have a team set up. If you don't have even a team, you're gonna obviously going to need a little bit more than just one Zankai unit. You're going to need a full composite, composite team, and go for Zankai's. All right, so what do I mean by this entire sentence? Because this is huge. This is huge, and I think I need... I, so I, I've gambled a lot in the past. I gambled a lot in the past, and this is a motto that I stick by. So for example, uh, this is an example of me. I won money at a casino. I was asked if I wanted to cash in or keep playing. I chose to cash in. Why? I have more chances to lose the more I play. Same thing for summoning. The more you summon after you received unit you wanted, the more you lose. Just inevitably. Inevitably you lose the more you summon after you've already received your unit. 
And then alternatively, if you get shafted, make sure not to spend more. Budget CC before going into a banner. Example. Margin despair budget one rotation. If you don't pull what you want, leave it anyways. And this basically just means that you're using it for good practice, so you're not spending your CC that you don't want to lose for later. Because you might want Zenkai's, you might want other summonable units. And if you mess up your CC because you wanted a unit, then that unit that you want better have been like literally the unit of the month that you wanted. And then any other unit you could just ignore. If you cannot justifiably say, ah, okay, I can ignore any other unit that comes out in this next month, then fine. You can keep this does not apply to you. This does not apply to you. But if you're someone that was like, I want to main this team, but I'm not maining it currently, then don't spend in the first place. I don't even know why you're touching the banner. Listen, I, I've gambled. I have gambled real money, let alone fake currency. And I'm telling you right now, if you play the way they want you to play, you will mess up and you will feel like this game is not free to play friendly. And they do that on purpose because if they can get you into that mindset, there is a good chance that you will become a spender, someone that gives money to the game, but not in a healthy way. You want to make sure that whatever you're giving, it's because you want to give it and not because you feel like you need to spend money to keep up. And that's huge. So be aware that if you're free to play, if you are free to play, that you don't fall into this trap, meaning you need to double check what I'm saying. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, this, this live is going to stay on my channel. So if you guys want to review any of the stuff that I've just mentioned, any of the stuff that I mentioned here, please do so. I'm also going to do a like quick synopsis video on YouTube uh, just for like both of these different things. There'll be different videos. One for just CC that you earn monthly and one uh, for just the advice for free-to-play players. So I will make videos for them if you don't want to review this uh, live. But if you feel impatient, this live is there for you guys. Okay? All right. With gambling, it's for real money, and though it doesn't cross my mind, but if it's Dragon Ball characters, all the neurons in my brain activate. Yep, exactly. Exactly. And then Zenkai's can make a great difference, so spend resources on them if you can. Exactly, Pigeon. Agreed. They are... Gr like, Zenkai's are the best investment in this game. Because the difference is, and I, I think I need to make it. I gotta make this last thing. Summons are not guaranteed. Zankai units are guaranteed. I want to know that I am getting value for my CC. Therefore, I spend on Zankai units. I'm fantastic, Brahim. How you doing? All right, and skipping banners actually might be good because most of them do come back on other banners. Yep, exactly. Uh, anniversary banners have most of the older banner units. Exactly. Also, Halo, another thing. If you just wait for New Year's to come around, or even a little bit earlier than New Year's, all of the anniversary units will be back around New Year's. Fun fact. And they'll be back even before then. So... For example, on my free-to-play uh, free account, I skipped the anniversary banners completely. The second anniversary banners were skipped completely on my free-to-play account. Just skipped. I just 100% hardcore skipped it. Was worthless to that account. 
worthless, worthless, worthless. It's not worthless for everybody, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it will be worthless to you. I'm saying for my free-to-play account, it was the most, and I'm going to say it this way because it needs to be said, it was dog shit. It was not worth any of my CC. It's all good, Brahim. Don't worry about it. I forgive you. How do I even farm Z Power? I have an entire video on that, uh, uh, D DDP Gamer. So if you check out how to, if you check out my multi Z Power guide, it goes over everything that you need. Uh, could I post that doc, please? I'm going to be post, uh, I could post this doc, actually, guys. I could definitely share that with you guys. So you know what I'll do? Yeah, I'll put this in the description uh, in, this, in this live later today. I think I can do that, right, Emily? Yeah. So later today, I will put this doc for you guys to download. It will be in the live. And all you have to do is I'll let you guys know when it's, when it's up and ready. So just check your Discord, check your Twitter, check your Instagram, check all those places. I will let you know in all of those platforms. And then, it, you know, when it's, when it's there, or just check later today, it will be up later today. Also, hello, Tyler. How you doing? <clears throat> I was so disappointed I pulled the new Bo Boo and Vegeta with UI Spark Kings Amasu and Goku Black, but no Hiroki uninstalling. <laughs> do you reckon we could get another LF banner like the one we had last year? Uh, what are you referring to, Lewis? Oh, which LF banner are you, are you thinking about? Um, yeah, no problem, DDP Gamer. But yeah, no, I, I, could you like expand on what you're thinking about, Lewis? Just because I'm not, I don't recall what you're referring to. An LF banner. Do you mean like a banner that was just all LFs? Is that the one you're referring to? How to get CC on PvP without getting ranked 50? Easy. Play PvP and only do most of the rewards. So you won't, in that case, get the full 300 for the PvP uh, missions. You'll actually, instead, if you're only doing it to get... If you're only doing PvP missions to get most rewards, not even all, to get most rewards, keep battling till battle rank 45. That will earn you 220 CC. On top of that, you'll still cover your total of 1,000 CC for the Battle Lovers plan, or the 500, better to say. So this is, this is something you can do as well. It's less, but it's not that much less. So it's, it, it will stack up over time, though. So it, it's usually good to at least try to make up the deficit. So if you can, try to get like 240. If you can, but if you can't, that's okay. Uh, usually, like, 220 is fine. Hi, where may I put the new Kid Boo LF? In Regeneration, Alex. You want to put it in Regeneration Team or Powerful Opponents. Like, my best rank is 43. So, Yap Young, that means you're only two ranks away from 45. You'll make it. All you got to do is keep playing. The guaranteed LF banner that we had at the end of 2020. I'm sure they will do it again. I'm sure they will do it again, uh, Lewis. Uh, it's just a matter of when. But obviously, there's no way to know right now. So I'm not going to say that we're definitely getting it again. I'm just saying that it's very possible we can get it again. So Pigeon asks, I have a question. If I get Battle Rank 50, can I stay there, not play PvP, and still get the season rewards? Yes. So if you reach, reach Battle Rank 50, you can't get demoted. You can't get demoted unless you keep playing and then lose enough to get demoted to Battle Rank 49. So it is possible to go from 50 to 49, but the likelihood is very, very low because once you hit Battle Rank 50, you can just stop. And you'll get the season rewards, but you just won't hit top 10k, you won't hit top 20. That's all. So you just won't get those ones. As the Rising Battle Boo is out tomorrow, should I use the CC on summoning? Or should I save? I would say save Yap. What is your main team? Yap, what, like, you're playing mainly Saiyans, right? So I would say that I wouldn't spend on the Boo, on the Boo stuff. But you should do the Rising Battle, because that's a free character. So do the free character, but only really focus on either God Key, or focus on Saiyans if you're interested in Saiyan units. If you're interested in, like, characters like Goku, 
or Broly, play Saiyans. But in that case, you should be playing a lot of Zenkai units. So keep that in mind. Um, I think the best, the best free to play team, oops, free to play team in the game is Future. So, if you're a new player and you want to know what team is best to play that is free to play, Future is the best team you could pick. Best free to play meta relevant team, actually, better to say. Best free to play uh, meta. Let me, let me, let me, meta relevant team in the game. I think I think it's important for me to um make the distinction cuz there are freer teams to play that are just not good. <laughs> All right, so we have isn't the raid tomorrow? It's it's today's the 19th, which means that it is yeah, tomorrow. It's god key. All right, so then in that case save because unless you're seeing god key units, no point. I'm having some major troubles with PvP. I get to 31, but I cannot get past that. Everyone I go against have Z uh, gear and almost full stars. And I go against battle rank 40, 50 until I get one lucky. All right, so DDP Gamer. The question here is this. Are, is all of your units soul boosted? Are they all at 5,000? And do you have at least B and A equips? If the answer to that is yes, then what you can do is slowly push the 35 because all you have to do in order to actually make that work in order to make that work and for you to actually make it through the entire um, PvP ladder is to, let's say, lose twice. The third time, you'll fight a bot, and you can keep on going like that. It sucks. That's the type of grind you'd have to do, but you can do it, and that will still guarantee you to get to battle rank 40. Fun fact. You can still get a battle rank 40 just like that. I'm not saying it's the best way, and it will take a, lo a while, but it's doable. You can do that. Uh, Yap Young asks, bro, is Hercule Hero good or bad? He's good. He's a good character. He's a tier 2 character. He's a solid character. What team can I put Jiren on? Because I don't know. Rival Universe. So you, a, a, a team with Jiren? And I think I'm not going to go into that, but if you guys want to have like a discussion about team compositions, we can do that on Monday. I love Kakunza. She's fantastic. Future now has three characters that are really good. Green, Transforming Goku Black, Red Revival Cell, and LF Yellow Gohan. They also have the Z7 uh, Blue Trunks. They have uh, Vegito Blue. They have a ton of good units. They also have the Purple Vegeta, Future Vegeta, who is an amazing unit. He's amazing. He's in the top 10 best purple units in the entire game. So, like, Future has a really, really solid core. A really solid core team. It's a 1 a.m. Eastern. Awesome, DDP. Good. So then in that case, what you really need to focus on is just keep on playing and just slowly grind your way up. Any predictions about third year anniversary 1K days? The thought of DKP and Gade Goku doesn't really get me fired up. It's a skip for me referring to these days just because of the jump scan and leaks. Yeah, it doesn't fire me up either. For third year anniversary, I'm thinking maybe um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I'm thinking uh, we might see a Saiyans or a uh, God Key again. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. And then, tomorrow, but I don't know the hour. Glad I could help. Perfect, 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 perfect. perfect. Vegeta Family is a nice free-to-play team too, isn't it? Yes, Alex, you're right. That is true. Uh, Vegeta Family is a nice free-to-play team as well. The only problem about Vegeta Family is that it's a little scattered, meaning that if you haven't been playing this game for a while, it's not free to play on entry. It's free to play if you've been playing at least for a bit. But right now, I wouldn't call it free to play. I would call it more so free to play if you've been playing for a, over time. Is Zenkai Rage Trunks a possibility? Right now, no at least for, for now, but it's definitely a possibility in the future. Like, I, I can't see why not. Bro, do you think they will add Master UI Goku or Full Power Jiren? Yes, eventually. Just maybe not now. 
Waiting for a world champion tag to be released so we can get mono Hercule themes. Yeah. All right, thanks, Phil. 1 a.m. Perfect, OP Mamba. I got you. I got you. But yeah, no, that's pretty much it. So I will release this document in this live stream. So you have to go into the description. So if you guys don't know how to do that, let me just bring out my YouTube real quick. I'm doing this because I want you guys to see what do I mean by description. Let's go to YouTube. So let's go to my channel just really quick. Let's go to uh, top 10 best. Okay. And then let's go to uh, show more. So this is the description. This is what I mean. So you see this? In my live, I will be posting the doc in my description. So all you have to do is go back here after this stream is done when I and check if I posted the doc if you want to review this document that I have. Otherwise, if it's not there, just be patient and wait. And I'll notify you guys on my Discord. I'll notify you guys on my Twitter. And I'll notify you guys on my Instagram. If you need access to those, it's very simple. They're all in the description of every video I post, including, I think, my live streams. But if not my live streams, but yes, my live streams, they should be there. So you'll be able to find it in the description of this live stream as well. So you don't have to go to another video if you don't want to. You can just click on here. It's not fair on the people who leveled up UI Goku and Jiren. He has Discord server you want an invite. Impractical Jokers and you recommend it. I like that. Listen, Lewis, I love them. <laughs> They're fun. Ice Fusions, but this has me thinking of giving Future a try. I just need some more stars. Yo, Dante, listen. I think, personally, Future is a lot more interesting as a team to play than Fusions. No, I mean, okay, I'll be honest with you. There's a little bit of hatred uh, that I feel towards Fusions. It, it's nothing personal other than the fact that I think Fusions are just not really well built. They're a very lazy team. And I say this in terms of the way that they've been built to play. Not in terms of, like, hating on people that play fusions. I get the reason to play fusions. You would want to play a team that can help you win effectively and very easily in some cases. But I just think that the way they've been designed is lazy. That's all. That's why I don't like fusions. It's nothing to do with the players that play it. I get it. Because, I mean, if you're competitive, you want to win. I get that. Bro, you're a good YouTuber. I sub, by the way, with a like on the stream. Thank you, Yap. I appreciate that. By the way, do you play Fighter Z uh, Z two? Uh, no, I don't. I I, <laughs> I have the game. I play it. I played it leisurely at some point, but I, it's just it's not a game I really enjoy. I don't like blocking without a block button. Like I want a button dedicated to blocking. I don't like the concept of having to hold the analog stick backwards away from an opponent to block. I don't like Tekken style like based games. That's just me personally. But do I think it's an enjoyable game? Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. To be honest, everyone has uh, <laughs> I guess fusions. Yeah, Lewis, I, I get that. Uh, I, I get that entirely. Uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no, not yet. I thought the stream was ending. No, no, not yet. No, we're almost done. Uh, Joku Black Jr. says, hola. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No problem. No problem. Do I like Dokkan? Yes, I do like Dokkan, but I stopped playing Dokkan because I lost my account. And that's my fault. I lost my account because of my own stupidity. But I'm not playing Dokkan anymore as a result. Because I, 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 I destroyed my account by accident, which is sad. Anyways, guys, that's the stream for today. I went definitely over what I thought I was going to do. Uh, but, you know, it's, I'm just happy that we, we got, got over this. It was great. It's true, real daddy clips. Yo, I'm, how you doing? Also, in tomorrow's raid, do I have to spend those coins in Z-Power or in CC? Uh, those coin, you, you can spend those, if you do, you can do that raid as many times as you want. Do it as much as you can. Don't stop until you, until you grabbed all the CC and then you grabbed as much Z-Power as you can. As much as you need. So just keep going at it. Don't stop. What I would suggest is play a second game while you're playing that or watch a video while you're playing a game. So here's a low key, um, low key, like, you know, self-promoting because this is my channel. I can do that. Alex GS. Listen, listen, watch all of my videos while you do your uh, while you do your uh, your co-op tonight. You know, your your raid. Just watch all of them. Binge all 100 and 100 plus videos I have on my channel. You know, do it for the YouTube algorithm. While you're at it, you can even leave a comment. I'm, I'm actually kidding. You don't have to do this. But if you did do this, it would be kind of funny. I'm just saying, like, you could watch any video, like anything on YouTube, anything you wanted. While you're doing this, just grind. 
I'm, I'm just not kidding. <laughs> it's gonna be gone. That's why you don't go to bed. You play it. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't have enough faith in, in the developers to make sure that that raid will stay up. So the moment it comes out, you play it. You go ham. And you don't stop until you at least get 1,000 CC. And then, you know, if you, if you want to be a little bit extra smart, get as much Z power or slot removers as you can. All right, take care, guys. And then, uh, Phil, can I maybe talk to you on Discord call and maybe get some help? Yo, DDP, if you need help in terms of that, uh, go on to my Discord. And there are people on my Dragon Ball Legends channel that can help you. If not, um, I can help you eventually, but just not right now because I have a lot of work I have to do. This stream is just part of my job. I have a lot more to do because I got to get you guys some videos out. Uh, that yellow video that I gave you guys just uh, yesterday, that took me, and I, I, no cap, it's been over two weeks in process and finally got released today. So, and I, I have to now build a purple video for this, and that's got to be released today as well. So that means I'm now cutting my, the amount of time it took me for the yellow to the purple from two weeks to one day. So like, just keep that in mind, guys. So I'm a little busy right now. But anyways, have yourselves a salty day. Stay safe. And I will see you guys in the next stream and or in this.